Welcome, welcome to Shadow Me Tarot. This is a different angle than normal because my phone is dead and I'm charging it and I want to do other videos, but I really want to get this one out. So this is going to be a just quick daily guidance for all of the suns. And the first one is for Scorpio. And Scorpio, you are in a place of peace and harmony. And let's see. Oh, you're in a place of peace and harmony. Let's see what else. So it looks like we're in a place of peace and harmony, but we're maybe overcoming some codependency issues, um, some addictions. Ooh. Um, it's like you're managing it well today and you're planting the seeds for the future very well very good good i wanted to find my my broke bitch tarot um which i love this deck i really really love this deck um i used to give this i used to it's like 12 bucks on it so i used to buy these all the time and give them away but i realized i can't afford to do that so <laughs> There's such a good intro, uh, intro deck. All right, can I get some more information about this devil, please, for Scorpio? For Scorpio, can I get some more information about this devil? What is this devil card referring to? And we have burnout, uphill battle, taken for granted. Okay. And then we have this Nine of Pentacles. Can you give me some more clarity on this Nine of Pentacles here? Oh my gosh, there's so many cards here. We got four of cups. Moving forward, letting go of grief and healing, sacred knowledge, divine feminine, unconscious mind. Ooh, lots of healing, cycles of life, fate, good luck, overcoming grief, closure, forgiveness, and making large purchases, giving to others, and letting go, letting go of the old. So overall, I feel like um, this is definitely like a healing day. Like you have put down something um, and you are kind of cleaning up your space and um i feel like cleaning up your heart and your soul and let's see what this planting seeds is oh here we go um i have new relationships pure intentions and joy that's beautiful what a beautiful reading anything else um melissa's lack of ambition under quite qualified and mediocre so i don't think that feels anything part of that this reading so we're gonna put that back um, what is the last guidance that we want? I know I want to do, I think we're going to do Getting Into the Vortex by Esther Hicks. This lady here, she's freaking awesome. Um, all right. Everything on my desk here, I keep pretty shuffled regularly um, but if we're in this place of harmony and healing um, and you're putting down um, your burdens and you're just kind of you know clearing space and kind of um, finding space and forgiveness and kind of moving forward from something um, you know creating uh, new relationships and planting seeds for new relationships um, and joy um, is a I think asking it is given. Is that the one I'm doing? No, we're doing getting into the vibration of it. So we're going to do um, getting into the vortex. <laughs> what vibration do we need to be at in order to continue this healing space, this peace, this harmony, um, so that we're able to... Oh, here we go. That's the one. My thoughts join a powerful swirling vo vortex of attraction. In the same way that the law of attraction is responding to thoughts, words, and actions that you are offering here in your physical reality, the law of attraction is always responding powerfully to your vibrational reality. When the law of attraction, the universal manager of all vibrations, responds to the clarity of vibration offered by your expanding inner being, the result is a powerful swirling vortex of attraction. There you have it. So that's this picture here. We'll show you. Oh, you can't even read it. Ugh, I need my phone back. All right, so it just says, my thoughts join a powerful swirling vortex of attraction. There you go. 
and you can't read that either so there you have it thank you for your patience scorpios i'm so glad um at least i was able to do this while my phone charges see you soon